This is e device week 3 tutorial 4. There are two questions to go through in this tutorial 4 here. I'll be going through question 2 as well as question 3. Let's start with question 2 first. In this question 2 here, we are given a rectifier with a 12 kilo ohm load being driven by a 30V AC transformer. In part A of the questions, we are to state the type of rectifier used as well as its function. Looking at the type of rectifier here in figure Q2, since there's only one diode D1 in the rectifier system, so therefore, this type of rectifier is actually a half-wave rectifier. And its function is actually, it converts AC signal to pulsating DC form. For part B, we are to determine the following four parameters here, which are VL peak, VL average, IL average, as well as PIV. Now, so all the four parameters that we are going to calculate here are based on half-wave rectifier system. So to, to find out what is the VL peak, we have to first of all find what is the V2 peak. Now we are given this 30 VAC here. So this 30 VAC actually belongs to V2 RMS. Hence, V2 RMS is actually 30 VAC. Now take note that we have put this note here that the VAC is the same as VRMS. Therefore, for us to find what is V2 peak, we simply take V2 RMS multiplied by square root 2. This will give us 30 VAC multiplied by square root 2, which in turn gives us 42.43V. We can use this V2 peak here now to calculate for VL peak. In this case, VL peak will be equal to V2 peak minus the diode D1. So the diode D1 here will be forward bias with a voltage value of 0 0.7 volts. Hence, VL peak will be equal to 42.43 volts minus 0 0.7 volts. And that will equate to 41 0.73 volts. Moving on to VL average, for a half wave rectifier, the VL average formula will be equals to VL peak divided by pi. So in this case, we plug the value from VL peak that we calculated earlier, which is 41.73 volts, and divide this by pi. So VL average will then be equals to 13. 0.28 B. And then to calculate for IL average, we simply take the VL average value that we just calculated and divide this by the load resistor RL. So in this case, this will be 13.28 V divided by 12 kilo ohms. IL average is then equals to 1.11 milliamps. And then for PID, for half-wave rectifier system, the PID formula is actually equals to V2PIC. V2PIC, we had earlier calculated, this is actually equals to 42.43 volts. Now to go on to part C, we are supposed to sketch two cycles of the voltage waveforms V2 as well as VL. And we also need to calculate what is the period of the voltage waveform across the load resistor RL. I'll do this on the next page. So for part C here, uh, we will sketch V2 first. So this is V2 versus time. The time will be given in terms of milliseconds. This is because when we calculate the period across the load resistor RL, 
So this period here will be equals to 1 over f. Now this formula here of the period which is equals to 1 over f is uh, pertaining to half wave rectifier. So we take 1 over 50 hertz. The 50 hertz is given in the questions. So this will give us a period of 20 milliseconds. Coming back to the voltage waveform V2 versus time here, uh, for two cycles of it, which means V2 will just be a sine waveform of two cycles here. The V2 peak value is what we have calculated earlier. So this will be 42.43 volts. And then the uh, period will be from this peak here to the next peak. So this is the period which is 20 milliseconds. To draw out VL versus time, Since this is a half wave rectifier here, with only a single diode, so what happens is that only the uh, positive half of V2 will actually pass through the diode and be reflected across the load resistor RL. Hence, the waveform for half wave rectifier system will be as such. Only the positive half cycle will actually pass through. The negative half cycle here will not be reflected as such, it's just lying flat like this. Okay. Only the positive half is actually reflected across RL. And then the peak of this VL here, its value will be VL peak. The VL peak that we calculated just now is actually equals to 41.73 volts. And if we were to uh, locate what is the uh, period across these two peaks here, it will be also the same, 20 milliseconds. This is for question two. Moving on to question 3, based on figure Q3 here, we are to state the functions of the transformer as well as to name the type of rectifier used here. So let's just answer the uh, functions of the transformer here first. So in part A, the transformer is actually to step down a high AC voltage to a lower AC voltage. The other function of the transformer is actually it helps to isolate the AC power source electrically from the rectifier circuit. And as for the type of rectifier used in figure Q3 here, it is actually a full wave bridge rectifier. Moving on to question B. So part B of the question here, during the positive cycle of V2 signal, so that means when V2 is actually positive, 
state that diodes that will be forward bias. So in this case, when V2 is actually a positive uh, cycle, uh, uh, two diodes that will actually be uh, forward bias will be diode D1 as well as diode D2. So answer will be D1 and D2. And then moving on to part C, during the negative half cycle of V2 signal, state the diodes that will be forward bias. So what it means is that, let me just erase first. So for part C, during the negative half cycle, which means it's like this here, the two diodes that will be forward bias will then be the other two diodes, which is D3 as well as D4. So for part C, it's D3 and D4 that will become forward bias. To part D now, so for part D, we are supposed to determine the values of V2 peak, VL peak, VL average, IL average, as well as PID. Now all these calculations here will be based on a full wave rectifier system. To calculate for V2 peak, you are given this turns ratio ratings here, 5 is to 1. So to calculate for V2 peak, it will be 1 over 5 times 230 VAC multiplied by square root 2. So this will give us a value of 65.05V. We are making use of the turns ratio in this case to calculate for V2P. Then for us to calculate the uh, VL peak value, we have to take V2 peak minus two diodes. So the two diodes will be forward bias and then therefore we have 65.05V minus 1.4 volts which then gives us a value of 63.65 volts. To calculate for the VL average, for full wave rectifier system here, we have to recall that the VL average formula is actually 2 VL peak over pi. So we use 63.65 minus deep multiplied by 2 and divide this by pi giving us a final value for VL average of 40.52 volts to calculate for the IL average we make use of the VL average that we calculated earlier and divide this by RL so then this will give us 40.52V divided by the RL value, which is 12 kilo ohms. Hence, we have an IL average value of 3.38 milliamps. As for the PIV for full wave rectifier system, PIV for full wave rectifier system is actually V2 peak minus 0.7 volts. So the V2 peak value that we calculated earlier is actually 65.05V minus of the 0.7 volts that will give us a PIV of 64.35 volts. The last part, part E, is to sketch two cycles of the voltage waveform of V2 as well as VL and to also calculate the period of the voltage waveform across the load resistor RL. I'll do this on the next page. So for part E, I start to draw the graph of V2 versus time. Again, the time is in terms of milliseconds here. Now, uh, V2 versus time here, 
we can for two cycles we will still see the uh, sine wave waveforms as such for two cycles okay and the period will then be equals to 1 over f which is 1 over 50 hertz this will then give us 20 milliseconds the peak of v2 is actually v2 peak the value for this is 65.05 v then when we draw vl versus time Two cycles of it means this way. Now, what happens to a uh, full wave rectifier system, right? Is that uh, both the positive half as well as negative negative half cycles of V two will actually be reflected like this. At the load resistor so that means the period in this case will be across just one of the waveforms so this will be equals to 1 over 2f 1 over 2 times 50 hertz and the period is therefore equals to 10 milliseconds the peak of VL is actually VL peak and this is equals to 63.65 V. And that's for question 3.